All right, let's go to the convenience store. Where's my neighbor who smells? Flashlight. I forgot we live in the 80s. There wasn't light invented yet. Um, am I supposed to go somewhere specific? To the convenience store, I'm assuming. Maybe just the outside of town. We are in Japan. Ah! That's kind of ominous, to be honest. There's just a cute little town. And then outside, there's a fucking giant store. There's also apparently a dude just sitting here. Hello, how homeless are you? Ah! Oh, I think that's a murder with somebody else's face on it. I know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all by the name I cannot speak of. <laughs> the day of judgment will come. Yeah? Hello, Bon. See, he's handsome. Oh god, you made it. Hmm? Oh no, it's just that I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. What the fuck? Why would he tell me that? Full on frozen spaghetti? Ugh, I bet that tastes disgusting. Okay, let's go give him all this expired food. Here you go. You can have all this food. Look at him walking away so smugly like, yeah, bitch, I got myself some food. He doesn't know he's gonna die tonight. All that thing, oh, it's poison. It's all expired. He's gonna fall off that bridge too. I think some food expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me? Oh, I did that already. Ahead of the game. All the food is gone. It's fine. Okay, he's gone. Bye, Franklin. Look at that RTX technology. That's fucking sick. All right, what do you want, sir? Why does he have a red thing? No browsing. You buy. They're so slow. The other guy looked like a turtle. This one walks like one. Come on, man. Come on. How is he carrying that? <laughs> okay, we gotta scan his, uh... Arigato! You want me to come out there and get it? You could just give it to me over the counter, but sure, you wanna be that guy. <laughs> it's kind of life or delivery man at this time, huh? We recently incorporated the system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Enjoy the bomb! It's a VHS. Oh, there we go. Watch closely. Wait, isn't that the thing that's behind our uh, trash cans? No, it looks a little different. Uh, okay. Hey, hey. So I heard a reporter that the doors would open on their own. Well, we got a guy to check out the sensor and it seems like the wirings were loose. Ghosts aren't real after all. I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left garbage bins open. The first person to see this and has to get rid of the rodents ASAP. Oh yeah, somebody fucking knocked over the bins. Oh. Oh my god, that fucking slow ass old lady scared me. <laughs> she might be a zombie. I just wanna poop. She's barely making her way. I think she actually is going to the bathroom. And if that bathroom's not working, she's gonna take it 30 more minutes to walk out and tell me. <laughs> Who the fuck said you could use the bathroom? Huh? Where's Cancun? You know where Cancun is? I thought I heard his voice. That was my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you? Oh shit, she's attacking me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's put a chair in her way. What? What do you mean? It's not like she's in the bathroom anymore. See, there she is. The old bitch, there she goes. Oh, somebody came in the store. Um, it's like midnight. What the fuck? Well, hello, young man. Welcome to the 24 hour store. Uh, no. These young whippersnappers are getting really out of hand. Ah! Ah! He ran! Well, that's not good. Pepper spray on the kid. He's not a real kid. He's a ghost kid. Oh! Oh my god, I thought I saw somebody sitting there! <laughs> Holy yeah, shit! shit okay. I'm fucking paranoid! Holy <laughs> I thought I saw somebody sitting there! Oh my... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry, chat. 
Holy f I scared myself, man. Hello? You can't hide from me. The sixth rat is ourselves. Is there a car here? Holy crap. Whose fucking windowless van is that? If we f if we find a situation where they're like there's a missing child, that's the first place I check. Oh, there he is! Aww. Man, you were well hidden. What did I do? I grab him by the snout. I open it up and then spray, like just hold the fucking spray bottle down so much so that he literally disappears. You know how much spray we had to use to fucking Thanos him out of existence? Oh, a box. <laughs> Guessing we're supposed to restock. Dick tastes like crap though, although you like raisins, right? No, I don't fucking like raisins. You ate stuff for raisins in there? Oh, you bought something for your mum with raisins in earlier, I guess. Does it taste like raisins? It has raisins in yeah. <laughs> I will not eat spotted dick. I'm guessing the sign in the back is gonna be like, restock, if you see this. <laughs> oh, it's like bread pudding. Yeah, oh, like okay. bread pudding. Oh, fuck! <laughs> fucking Frank! He scared me! I was talking about spotted dick. Wait, why does this one look so clear? The fuck? Ah, no wonder these look weird. It's because they have the effect on them. Kind of eerie. Oh my god! You think that's a rat child? Why can't I open this? It wants me to go out back. It wants me to go out to the backside. But the rats are out there and they want revenge! Okay. What's that light? What is that? Oh, it's a car. Is it? What kind of car was that? Okay. Was that bathroom always open? I guess as long as it's not a rat child. What? Did he have bloody arms? Oh my god. Holy crap. What the fuck is wrong with the characters in this game? <laughs> what the fuck? He's like, quick, I need tape, I'm mid-surgery. <laughs> so there's something wrong with the air conditioning? Your boss seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh. No, really? Oh, wait, he's a repairman. Wait, what are his arm? What's wrong with his arms? It looks like blood. <gasps> oh my god, is she, oh my god, she's real. <laughs> Oh, she's real! Lady, you scared the fuck out of me! Look how white she is! I thought that was a fucking ghost! I thought that was a Japanese water ghost. Straight up, she's so white, she needs a tan. <laughs> Holy crap, lady. You're telling me that's normal? I am not gonna judge. Look at her arms! I'm not racist like you. She looks like a mannequin. <laughs> hey, that's not racist. It's ghost cysts as at most. Wait, what the fuck is up with this toilet, by the way? Um, also, what's up with our... Uh-oh. I'm trapped in here. So... Oh... I think, I think the ghost is checking her email. This is a fucking soft keyboard, bitch. Stop hitting it so fucking hard. Stupid ass ghost. What are you gonna even get an email for? I got a coupon code. Oh! I mean, the ghost came in. She left those talismans, though. The ghost is like, here, try and stop me. What am I going to do? Say no? I went, all right, bitch. Here I come. I got some fucking talismans now. Exercise the door? Okay. Whoa, there is a body in there. Wait, that's Frank. Was that Frank? Oh, <gasps> the manager. Oh, no. That's not Frank. That's the manager. Why does it say four? Oh, crap. Oh, my God. 
Oh no. Is this where I want to put the rats? Who's there? Oh! Uh, four! Oh, he's looking at me now! No one's home! Hello! Well, at least the rats haven't... Third night? What? What do you mean, third night? There's no nights after that night. When that happens, it's overnight. That's when you go, well, maybe this job isn't for me. Let's take a flashlight and a gun this time, yeah. How are you going back to work after this? I would have quit when I saw the rats. She's not a quitter like you. Uh, well, she should be. Now she's gonna fucking die, and guess what? I'm gonna be alive. So this time he's actually not here. There's also no notes, no punch card. We're just here to check our email. I was very much anticipating. We're probably gonna have to go right back to the door. Uh, how long did it take me to open that fucking door? Okay, it's not gonna make me turn. What was that noise? All right, we'll check the CCTVs. Ah, oh, you're not allowed in here, kid. Hey, it's closed. Get out. No shoes. No service. Is he coming to the back room? Where is he? Where'd he go? Hey, we have the right to refuse you service. You have no shoes on. Hey, get out of the store. What the fuck? That's how you know cup of ramen, cup of noodles is the, the fucking goat. Everything's disappeared and guess what survived? The ramen. I told you, man, they pride themselves on their noodles. Is there a puzzle of some sort? Mm -hmm. So there's specific TVs that the kid was going to. Mm -hmm. Let's try to turn these on. Ah, right, you little shit. Which way are you going? There he is. That little rat. Where's that little rat child? All right. It is that one. Okay. I think he's looking... Is he looking at the middle one? Okay. We're right. They're all on. They didn't turn off. That sounds really scary out there. We're right. Now what? I can't use it anymore. Now what? Can we go out here now? Um. Son, did you sprain your ankle? Are you okay? Oh. Ooh. Oh no. What is? It? Okay. Oh. What? Was that his mommy? Oh, come on. No. You know what? No. I'm just gonna work my shift and then fucking go home. I can't even work. Fourth night. I think we're gonna die this night. We could have stayed home, but no, she wanted to be fucking tough. Send it off to someone else? The tape? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. I don't I don't wanna see it. I don't even wanna see it. Let's send it off to somebody else. It could be like the ring. Where we send it off to somebody else. Wait, that's one of the endings? I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep it. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clear out my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what had happened and why, so I turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location of where the building was made. One comment on a strange forum stood out to me. It said there seemed to have been gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments in 2009 where the case was a man who was the mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th. The man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off at a grocery shop. To a local supermarket, when the wife came back, it said that she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on the same day. 
They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nails punctured onto her along with her child and her stomach. I wanted to throw up from the obscene images, but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work and he had complained to several colleagues and on the day of the incident it is said that he had an emotionless face. Imagining what the family had gone through, depression and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful. With tears in my eyes, I closed the internet gently and called the manager to talk about everything I had experienced during the night shift and what ha I had discovered. Wait, th wasn't he dead? However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. Hozo, a franchise leader who I had never met. I had a bad feeling about it. Then, with a shivering voice, he said, The manager is dead. I couldn't breathe, so it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where it was found, Mr. Hozo said that there was an old storage behind the convenience store and he was found there after a day of his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could because every time I passed in front of the store, I could always feel a sharp stare towards me and I wouldn't be able to help but try and pass as quickly as possible so as not to look at the building. A day later, the store had been closed down. The reason seems to be due to poor management, but further details were not publicized. At the point, I didn't have the means or the courage to examine it anymore. Fuck, this is so long. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day, as I passed by the now closed down store, I heard a child's voice. There, I saw the woman. When I looked in my hand, I picked up one of the rusted nails that had fallen on the middle of the site. This fucking girl is an idiot. See that? Imagine what would happen if she just quit when she saw a rat. None of this would have happened and she would have been A-OK -okay and probably would have found the new job real quickly. And guess what? That new job probably wouldn't have haunted her. So that's why, ladies and gentlemen, the whole point of this game is you quit as soon as you see a rat.